taxi. Yeah, Jaya Kara. Becky was not going to. So guys, we a taxi. First time in a taxi. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Ugandan taxi, yes. Say hi to my people guys. Hi, what's hi. up? TK Squad. <laughs> guys, we've just arrived at Kabaka's palace. Kabaka is king in Luganda. And that's Tia there walking towards up the gates. Guys, we are so tired. But yeah, this is where the Kavaka at time leaves, you guys. So guys, we have entered the Lubiri, the Kavaka's palace. As you can see, everybody's here. Guys, Etwai Water is where the king passes. It's the only one that passes there to enter that gate over there. And we've told Tia she can't go there because it's only the king's, should I say way or road or little area. So I've told her if she attempts to step on that particular ground there, the ground will swallow her. And she thinks I'm lying. So she's gonna go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh they, they're gonna shoot you. The guy is gonna shoot you. The guy will shoot you. I'm not lying, the guy will shoot you. Huh? Ground, even there. Many people who have a ground like this. I know, but don't you see that that has a different color from this? It's only for the king. That's why they built it special. Even I am the queen, so can I pass? <laughs> even the queen. Does. I think you're underage for queen. Is even the queen doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, he has a queen. Yes, he's married. Tia. Okay. I'm his queen. Oh. You're his queen. No, I'm the princess. You're the princess? So why can I not enter? But how do you disappear? The ground just swallows you. It opens up and just swallows you. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. So if the king goes there, he gets swallowed? No, he doesn't get swallowed because they know it's him. The ground knows it's him. Was that ground there when everyone was born? Yeah, this is the king's palace. So it's from generation to generation to generation, all the kings pass there. All right, guys, so we're going in now. Um, that's the lady there, she's opening up and Madame walking in like she owns the place. Oh, guys, welcome to the King's Palace. Wow, that is huge. <laughs> so, these are the, the remains for the castle belonging to King Motesa. 
In 1866, when the palace was attacked, most of the tornado were both rooted some of the castle which belonged to King Frederick. But uh, so some that had remained, they destroyed them, then they buried them into the soil. So the ones that we have in here were just bring them out of the soil and then brought here. We have three types of cars here. The one which is on top is the Daimler. This part up to here, uh, that's the Cadillac. Then from here, this is the Rolls Royce. So those are some of the cars which we all doing that. So now we are going to go to the Tortured Chambers. Ooh, Tortured Chambers. <laughs> I don't know why I found that fascinating, but okay. <laughs> Let's go. This car is really huge. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's huge. It's very spacious inside. Guys, we are heading to the tortured chambers. I think this is where they used to torture, of course, people. That's why it's called tortured chambers. So Idi Amin used to torture people in the tortured chambers we're about to show you. <laughs> the route is very, it's already scary. So imagine they're bringing you here in the middle of the night. The description would be I was in the middle of nowhere. Oh, oh yes, they are coming. Yeah? <laughs> We're going to see the tortured chambers. They used to torture people. They used to torture people this side. Yeah. All sorts of people, I guess. Hmm? These are banana plantations, but green bananas that we call matoke, which is a traditional food here in Uganda. Oh, we're about to! Oh my God! These are the tortured places or the tortured, tortured house. This is where they used to torture people, you guys, in Idi Amini times. Yeah, they'll probably go like that. Uh, and this is just a little bit of information. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, this is the tortured. Oh my God, this is scary. This is scary. Wow. So this was in Idi Amini time, where he used to. These were the tortured houses, and you torture people down here. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Wait, so we lock them and then they have a big one and they put them. Oh, here the echo. So, this is the Idi Amin Shabbat in 1871, when Idi Amin had become a president, he ordered for the Israel to construct for him this. That was because at that time they were the best people who had constructed such concrete buildings. That's why he ordered for them. The build used to be an armory. I can't go. But only he did that the store for only eight months. And then he later had to be a new child. Where he used to be the people, those that were very sincere, and they thought that he suspected that he was a 
It's a bit dark. I think there would be like soldiers there. This is like Narnia. What do you mean Narnia? The movie Narnia. Guys, this is like Narnia. For those that have watched Narnia before, comment in the comment section and let me know. And then like the horses. They come in. From there, what we came back was a body too, and also used this same place for the same purpose. As either men used it. This same man was revenging what either men had done to this man. So that was the period from 1980 to 1985. For the dead bodies, the trucks could come for them. There's what? A diamond? No, that's not a diamond. Let me zoom in. It's just like a little metal. It's not a diamond. About 6,000 people. What? Almost everyone in Uganda. No, just 6,000. Yeah. Honestly, guys, this part reminds me of Narnia. So when the king comes out and then there's like everybody's like standing there and then they build like a little have I watched that like a movie? bridge for him have I watched it you watched I think you watched Narnia but um yeah this was I think my highlight of the entire tour yeah. thousands of Uganda yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is hungry I can eat a whole cow you can eat a whole cow I can eat a whole cow Wow. Very you make me order I'm tired. pizza, oh, chips, and rolls. Yeah. Uh, Have you eaten the rolls? Uh, yeah. yeah. These are the four kings which have been buried at Kasuri tombs. That's the burial grounds for the king of Uganda. He's the thirtieth king of Uganda. You have portraits starting with him, which is because the technology of taking pictures started during this reign. But you are from king number one up to now, the current king, who is the 36th king of Uganda kingdom. This one, King Mutesa the first, was down who wrote a letter to Queen Victoria, requesting her to bring these people here in Uganda, the missionaries, to teach the people here how to trade and write, and then some other English ways. So this was the letter that was written, only that this was translated into our local language which is Uganda. He's the father to King Daniel Mwanga, then who established the Mango Palace, and one who dug the biggest man-made lake that you have in East Africa, the King is Lake down there. And then he's the father to King Daudicha, then who became a king when he was just one year. And then he's the father to King Frederick Mutesa the second, that's the first president that we had in Uganda. And then he's the father to the current king, who is called King Ronald when I will tell you the second. It was the real wedding for King Frederick. It was 1948 at St. Paul's Cathedral in Nairobi. And then he had the Queen Mother when she had visited Uganda. She met with King Frederick and then his wife at the parliament. So the palace house, how it was before the 1966 attack, then the Royal Mail in the 1950s. And then there, King Frederick was expecting his guard of honor. He was lifting this prince. And then she was the wife to King Frederick Mutesa. She was called Damali. Um, picture the other side and pictures for the current king when he was still young. He's the one here with the mother and father, with other people from the royal family. There he's the only in the shorts with his English teacher. And then here he was in Mutesa house, that is in London. 
And then there were the two sisters still in the house in London. And then here was with his father, when his father and the palace was attacked in 1866, being that uh, now his son was studying from abroad, he had gone to meet him to tell him what was happening in the kingdom during that time. And then there, uh, it mean when I brought back the body for the Queen Caesar, that was in 1871. And then there, the courage king was thanking Idamin for bringing back the body of his father. And then here, how the king puts on during his coronation, puts on the bath court, then accompanied with the leopard skin. Pope John Paul II, when I visited Uganda, he met with the current king. That was in 1993, but before the coronation. And then he's the reigning king. This is his personal flag, and then this is the flag for Uganda kingdom. And then it was the royal wedding for the current king. That was in 1999. She's the queen of Uganda. She's called Slavia. And then here, these are the children for the current king. He has three daughters and then two sons. But as I say, that firstborn born boys, they don't become kings. So I expect him to be the next king. In the four pictures, we see the king handling the road. He always gives it to his prime minister. It is as a sign of authority. When he gives him that road, it means that he has given him authority to the Uganda kingdom. And then this is the parliament setting for Buganda kingdom. Uh, the parliament sits eight times in a year. But the king only appears there once. This is when he has gone to open and then close the session. This is when he goes into the parliament. In Buganda, our king is an Anglican. But he celebrates with this with different religions. There he was with the Catholics. And then in the corner, he was with the Muslims. Down there, that's the barrigans for the kings in Buganda. Kasubi Road shows how it was before it was burned. So in current, it is under renovations. And then in the corner there, uh, that lady, she was the one who helped drive King Frederick Mutesa before he went into exile. So the current king was thanking her for what she had done. He gave the land title and then do it for her the house. And then here we have these shoes. These are shoes that our grandparents used to put on to move barefooted. They could walk on this and it was only for the rich during that time. Wow. Unless you have any questions. Tia, can you see? These used to be the shoes back in the day. How do they even walk in them? It was the shoe. Amazing. This is the end of our tour. Thanks for wow. visiting. Thank you very Thanks much. This is the Mango Palace. Are Thank these for you. sale? Uh, Fridge money is, yeah. Mm. yeah.